Hmm. Better leave these where Mom won't see them. Oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. Taz? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! Ugh, I hate it. But it's of the dog we had when we were growing up. Lady. I don't think it's Lady's fault I hate it. Who's responsible for this disaster? August. She made it when she was a kid. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about. The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom. I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. Uh So you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Oh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know.
We did our best, but the results were... Ugh. Hey, were you born in a barn? Close the fridge. Yes, mother. Please quit already. Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> Turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have, to push her in the opposite direction. So dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Grandpa Leo was a... An inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. 
He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. Tropically fun and tropically sweet, it's tropical hippos you gotta eat. No, why isn't this in the fridge getting cold? Come on, Mom. Was this... was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah. Very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go.
Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. And for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. <laughs> Glad you approve. What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August's book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Good point. What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But... Uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's... something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there?
Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling. No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <sighs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? He's right, they are hip. Hip and cool, like, um, like a guy in a ska band would wear or something. Ska? It's, um... It's this music that cool kids at school like. It has, like, trumpets and stuff in it. And the guys wear fedoras and sunglasses and dress shoes and stuff. And I, I, I think, like... Bowling shirts. Like Dad. Ska is cool like Dad. I see. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Whoa. Grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. Definitely. I knew you would. Well, <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, I knew. I've always thought this was such a beautiful dress, and I'd always wanted to hand it down to you. Like your grandmother handed it down to me. Those sound like you reasons. Well, you just said you'd definitely want to wear it for your wedding, so I guess there are you reasons, too. <sighs> what? Nothing. It's a really nice dress. Let's just keep looking around. Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Grandma's sunglasses? Vintage. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Yeah. Sure. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life.
weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Whoa. There was a crime spree? Oh, yeah. He had department stores and fancy clothing shops. Places kept getting robbed. The police couldn't figure out how the crooks were pulling it off. It went on for, well, I mean, it felt like months. So what happened? Did they get caught? Now that I don't remember. Groovy van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no brainer. Did you, like, redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No! Well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... Cheating on Grandpa? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Grandma's... diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- a And what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've got to go check the whole place out. Maybe we'll find that... Bootlegger gold? Oh, not this again. And to see if we can figure out what really happened with Grandma Helen and the mystery man. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery 
would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. Do you really think we're gonna find buried gold at your grandma's old summer home? Well... No, not really. It's like Bigfoot. He's just... fun to look for. I see. Like Nessie, like, like X-Files. I don't remember that episode of X-Files. The one where they look for buried gold? Why would the FBI send them to look for buried gold? The government's always looking for money. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Well, if I find it, you'll be the first to know. And then the government. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15, your age. I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> So, a super long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial <sighs> Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything. I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? He's a man of leisure. Is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He likes relaxing. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades, out there in the middle of nowhere, it's gotta be falling apart. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? <laughs> We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? To live in? To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. 
We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? Give up on it? I'm responsible for keeping it running. <laughs> for our performers and our audience and all those kids they bring to the theater on field trips. But how are we going to have money? Things will pick up. Ever since 9-11. Oh my god, Mom. This theory. Theater going has plummeted. Yeah, on Broadway. You think people are staying in because they're afraid of terrorism in Greenville? It's a national trend. You sound ridiculous. Well, maybe I am ridiculous. Yeah, maybe you are. <sighs> yeah. It was easier when your dad was still around. At least we had more than just my income to work with. And then he goes and runs off. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west... for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just... work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not gonna step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <sighs> you idealize your father, you know that? And. I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Are you sending text messages to someone? No. Well then what are you doing? I'm... seeing if I want to change my ringtone. A lot of typing for a ringtone. Who are you texting with? No one. Tess, I'm the one that gets our cell phone bill. I can find out who you were texting with. Don't lie to my face. It was Dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's alright. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or dads. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to.
My god. Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Of a dump? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Wanna start looking around? Yeah. Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like, towed by a big truck. Go on. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister, and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped! I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself, one who would always listen. A little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh. Maybe a desk drawer? Well, 
would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? His conscience? <laughs> I don't know if you can outrun your conscience by going to Canada. You can if, uh... I'm trying to think of a Canada joke. It's not working. That's okay. I'll give you an A for effort. <laughs> <gasps> Bested! These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. I meant when they were alive. Right. I think hunting is really rude. Like, leave the poor animals alone. You know, people have been hunting animals since we lived in caves. Right. Before there were supermarkets. Or shotguns. Hunt like a caveman, and maybe I'll give you a pass. Did Grandpa shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. Mom! That's messed up! You shot a deer? You killed Bambi's mom? That was you? Oh, Bambi. Okay. You know, deer and rabbits and things aren't cute cartoon characters in real life. Out here, they're actually pests. Cute? Innocent pests? But pests, all the same. You were... my age? When you shot it? Younger. <laughs> Our father took us hunting during the summers when we'd stay out here. Well, mostly just me. I always did alright with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it? I don't think August could, though. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little twenty-two hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. So she aimed and fired and missed. The deer ran off, and August cried all the way home. That was August's first and last hunting trip. Our father didn't have much patience for that kind of, uh... He had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the way. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We... well... We met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. 
Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Ugh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after Father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Maybe. Or... Maybe something super messed up happened. <laughs> like what? Um... Okay. He was driving on these secluded back roads and whatnot, and he picks up a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker gets in, and he asks him where he's headed. And the hitchhiker says, All the way to the end of the line, man. And the hitchhiker's just staring off into the distance like he's lost at some faraway place. And then all of a sudden, with no warning, he pulls out this huge rusty bowie knife. It's actually pronounced Bowie. What? No, it's like the last name, like David Bowie. Different last name. Bowie. Are you just messing with me? No, that's how it's pronounced. Okay, well, anyway, maybe this guy got killed by a crazy hitchhiker. That's all I'm saying. Well, that would be super messed up. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me.
What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in.